It's always seemed to me that fossils are some of the most romantic things on this planet. I mean, if you came across a pebble like this, for example, and you just happened to knock it with your geological hammer, which happened to be around at the time, but if you just hit it with a hammer and spit it, and it opened like that, wouldn't you think that was remarkable? And that hasn't seen the, the light of day for 400 million years. And you're the first person ever to clap eyes on it. Isn't that the most romantic thing ever? I, I certainly find it so. Uh, when I lived in, in Leicester, when I was a boy, I didn't find trilobites like that. But you did find things like this. This actually comes from Kimmeridge, but they're ammonites. And I collected them like mad. I would be off on my bicycle and sitting around in disused iron quarries just knocking rocks. Um, and they, they come in all different kinds and sizes. And actually, this particular piece is rather interesting because if you turn it over, you see the outside of the shell of a simply enormous one that the, these others somehow or other have got stuck inside it. So um, fossils for me have always been thrilling. And I, I don't make these programs out of some kind of proselytizing view that people ought to be interested in. I do because I'm interested in them and it gives me a huge pleasure. And I think other people can get pleasure from it too. Because he's very cool. I definitely have love for David Attenborough. Yeah, no, like, I, I don't know why you wouldn't love David Attenborough. 